All right, um, one of my earliest memories of uh, seeing uh, artist sounds all time perform was sometime, I think, in 2003, 2004, when I actually <laughs> ended up missing a test in school because I wanted to watch him perform at the French Cultural Center. Then his smash hit mathematics was ruling the airwaves. We ended up becoming very good friends, neighbors uh, to an extent here in Lagos, attended you know, family events with each other, worked out at the same gym for about two, three years. So he's a very dear friend of mine, and it's very, very disheartening to hear yeah. Uh, what has happened to him, um, it's, it's pretty heartbreaking. And uh, once again, our condolences to his family, his friends, his loved ones, who are definitely going through a hard time at this moment. I dare you to go anywhere and find out anything negative about Sound Sultan. You know, we will say nice things when people pass away, but this time, everything being said about him is beyond the truth. An absolutely amazing human being, nice guy, warm soul, and uh, we just wish he... His soul continues to rest in peace. Um, he's been a guest uh, here on Robin Minds multiple times, and he's sat right here with me, talked about all sorts of issues, and we just want to use this moment to pay a quick tribute to Larry Fasasi, a.k.a. Sound Sultan. Sound Sultan. Oh, my gosh. Legendary. How many years, how many years this year? Um, which one, the football age or the... You know? I didn't say your age in entertainment. I know, the football <laughs> age of my entertainment. <laughs> but I have a football age, honestly. Uh -huh. is from the first release, that like people knew me. Yeah. When I blew, you know, people, they can play from when you blow. Yeah. <laughs> so it's 18 years. Before that, what was your other age? 24. So what were you doing then, before the blowing? Uh, you know, hustle. Mm. You know, hustle. Hustle. <laughs> hustle is the one I was doing. <laughs> so you, had, you were just grinding? And... Yeah, I was grinding, you know, on the ground doing my thing, following Baba D about, you know, <laughs> as a backup singer and, you know, just learning the ropes and just trying to, you know, gaining confidence because yeah. me, I was more of an introvert than just looking at like, man, this music thing. And that time, you know, so music never really showing itself saying, go blow us. Yeah. So we're just like, okay, let's, <laughs> you see, were just doing it let's see where this takes us, yeah. you know. And, you know, back then it was more, I was more of a rapper, you know, I used to rap, so that yeah, hip hop thing. And I started converting myself into a singer, you know. So all that was the time I used to board my, you know, not, not my muscle. <laughs> Speaking of... I spend my money every day on top of man. I know can she walk away to another man. I am ready to be your mugu. Your person I'm for life. Speaking of blowing and butmas, I mean, this song that we just saw now is basically almost defines your career. Yes. Sir. Do you sometimes just, it did not tire you? Like, no, sometimes you're just like, no, ah. no, no, I, you know, funny thing is, I, I'm so grateful to the song because um, before that song, I had a song that was like my go to song. You know, as, a, as an upcoming artist, mm -hmm. I'll just, when I get on any stage, I'll just do my song. That was the song, man. Gang, gang. Once I don't do that, gang, gang. You don't need to know me. You, you, you didn't need to even know anybody called Sound Sultan before you meet that guy on the stage, yeah. but you get wild uh, somehow, some way, you know, because when you listen to the lyrics, you just, like, it's so self explanatory. Yeah. So at that point in time, it was gang gang. But when I wanted to release a song, you know, eh, eh, the one with the Nugu band immediately, you know. <laughs> so, and now I was on a tour on, on the road, I just wrote that song, and that was it for me, yeah. you know. So that song, I felt like it didn't make me hustle in front of people too much, for too long. Yeah, yeah. It was my first single, you know, and it did very it's still well. still a classic. I, I got an award for it last year. Like, you can put, place yourself in a certain position to acquire that blessing. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's not something that you think you are the one that did it. Uh, but you have to always know that less is more. And for you to, you know, gain relevance, it has to be over a period of time. Yeah. You know, it's subconscious in the mind of the people that you're trying to serve it. You don't force it on them. I, I, I really appreciate people that are down to earth. And yeah. I feel like that kind of opens doors for you. When you see people grinding at the top of the game for a long time, if you look at them, you see that, you know, they have a pinch of humility somewhere. You know, look at the likes of people that top their games. You know, if you look at the Kelechi Amadi B, you know, yeah. look at Alibaba top. Jimmy Jack, you know, all these guys are grounded. You don't, you don't find any ounce of... Um, Do you find that that's different these days with the younger artists? Do um, you find that there's a lot of... Do you know, there's I, a need to be... Exactly. You see, that's, that's, you, you see, that's, you that's where you were going with the need. You see, underlying need yeah. is like, it's part of the recipe. If you don't, if you don't put that in, in there somewhere, 
you know, somebody might just come and step on you, or I don't know, I don't know why it is like that. They're not coexisting as you know, as they should. You know, many of them in front of the camera, yes, they do, but the the <laughs> green rooms are very cool now. <laughs> <laughs> green rooms are very cool. That, what sort of things have you seen in the green room? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that is like it's just left for someone like Lily to just start drawing, putting. Cordon, Barricades, yeah. cordon off one area. For what is that, that though? I, just, I mean, the industry is not even that big. Is it, it? It's not that big, and everybody can eat, you know. But the thing is, you know, this ego thing. Everybody is just trying to protect their ego. They feel like, okay, don't step on me. I don't want your bouncer to be my bouncer's bouncer. I don't want some, I want some bouncer to get bouncer. So people will bouncer get bouncer. <laughs> you did it. So I, I, I did. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, somebody, yeah, somebody might just step on somebody's toe, you know, without the main people even seeing each other. You know, so it's always getting messy. Maybe that's that's kind of thing that, you know, you find when there's development anyway. Everything is getting yeah. better. The, maybe is that we, good? I mean, I mean, it's, it's, that's, it, those are signs. I don't, they don't have to be good, but they are signs. Because uh, back then, maybe we said, well, they show one love, one love. If money can't increase more, <laughs> it takes a higher. Maybe <laughs> be too low. Maybe, uh, because that, uh, that time, uh, if one person was having a show, uh, black spam boys would call this one up and say, okay, ah, this guy's having a show. Oh, convoy. Everybody just blew convoy. Go for a show with an OP, do backstage, you chill with everybody, uh, you know. <laughs> So back then was the love was real and it was more you know closely knit. But now, like everybody is checking now who, who's the next guy to um, yeah. you know cut their check. Or, Are you worried about the industry? I'm Are you excited about. I'm it? excited more more than worried. You know, I'm excited because we have to be optimistic. Um, you know, moving forward, I feel like this wasn't. I, I never knew it was going to be at that level at this level this fast. You know, because we're talking like it's a decade and a half. Yeah. You know, pretty much. and. <laughs> Trust me, it's like Nigeria is the new, you know, I was thinking it was the new Jamaica, but it's now turning to the new America. The way it's going, you know, we're going about this music thing, it's going, spreading like wildfire. And I just feel like we just need to, um, what else? We need to just arrange our home first. Yeah. Because when they start seeing that, they will want to come here and see, ah, they will just see our. <laughs> so imagine <laughs> you understand I mean, can we really like I wrote something I said walk, can we walk the talk yeah. you know at the end of the day you know there has to be some value that comes with say, the big box when we start knocking on the big box people want to see the value that you're bringing it's not just the song that okay you sang that song on the CD how can you perform it live or what instruments yeah. do you play well, how, how well can you hold it tour you know so all those things have to be yeah. Arrange and yeah. when you talk money, you are short boy. And the love is like a short boy. Uh -huh. Just look at slick. Why Yes, we should be at your fine so in the mix. Bad man. Hey. Just the other day I see in a show. A body language. Well, hard for me to say and speak of him in the past tense, but um continue to rest in peace, uh Sound Sultan. You will be sorely, sorely missed. I'll see you next Sunday.